Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, good evening. Well, um, guys, welcome back to the classes. It's so nice to see you again. I hope you have enjoyed your weekend and uh, rest as much as possible, okay? So how was your day without social network? Without WhatsApp, without Boring. Facebook, <laughs> without Instagram, nothing. Boring. It was horrible, right? Yeah, I understand that. We don't even know what to do without social media. It's kind of a, we are part, well, that's part of, our lives, so it was a, it was a very very different day, and I don't even know why that happened. Do you know why that happened? There was a hacking something or you know, not, but it was worldwide, right? A nivel mundial, right? So it was not only in El Salvador. Okay. All right, cool. So it's so nice to see you guys again. Thank you so much for coming on time. And uh, well, I hope you have uh, been working or resting during the weekend. And uh, before we start the class, I would like to know, are you having any problem or something or any exercise that you don't understand from the platform or everything is doing okay? You're doing great. Yo teacher. Okay. Yo teacher, en la sección una, uno diez, Mm -hmm. Fíjense que yo respondí todo el cuestionario y aparentemente están bien, pues, la respuesta. Y no me da pase. Fíjense que le provocó un mayúsculas al inicio, no me lo acepta, eh, mm -hmm. lo pongo todo en mayúscula, le quito espacios eh, y no, no me da paso. <laughs> can, can you do something for me? Can you please try to take a picture or screenshot or something? And you can send that to me so I can talk that directly with uh, with human resources or the person in charge of that. So because sometimes, remember, the platform is not 100% well because those are programs, right? And those programs have some mistakes. And that's for a fact. And uh, But we can try to resolve your issue and help you with that because it's really important that you keep working on the platform. So can you do that uh, if you can today after the class or tomorrow morning so I can send that immediately to my to the human resources part? Can you do that for me? Did you understand what I said? <laughs> first of all, that's the first question. <laughs> Did you understand what I said? No? No, okay. Eh, que le tomes una foto a, al ejercicio, una captura de pantalla, y si puedes después de la clase o mañana en la mañana, you send it to me so I can talk directly. Puedo hablar directamente con las personas encargadas de la plataforma. Sí? Eh, porque es necesario que tú vayas avanzando en la plataforma Ya que ya con esta es la semana dos, ya solo nos quedan dos semanas más, and we're over, okay? So it's very important that you keep working on that. Um, if you can do that after the class, después de la clase, or tomorrow morning, that will help me, okay? Thank you. Very good. Someone else? No? Everything is good? Fine. Perfect. So if you're guys not having any problem, Lisette, are you having any problem? No? And no, teacher, no, no, thank you. Okay, okay, great. So we're going to start today, guys. Um, these past days or some days of the last week, we have been checking kind of vocabulary. And today is not going to be the exception. 
Today we will learn vocabulary regarding to the parts of the house. And we are going to go detail by detail, checking each one of the parts so we can know some vocabulary that you probably do not know. All right. So um, let me see. Just give me a second. I will check that out. Okay. Okay, let's give me All right, so I'm going to share the screen with you so we can all check what's today's class. And as I said before, today we have a vocabulary about house and places around the house. So uh, today we're going to learn all those vocabularies probably there are some words that you already know, but we're going to go one by one so you can practice the pronunciation because pronunciation is very important. You can know a lot of vocabulary, but what if you cannot pronounce them well, right? So some people might understand what you're saying, but if you speak with an American, they won't be able to understand you. So uh, pronunciation is very important. So as the topic says over there, vocabulary about house and places. Before I continue, guys, let me ask you a question. Can you hear me clearly? Like no background noise, nothing like that. So clearly, claramente, can you hear me clearly? Yes, great, thank you. So um, first we're going to start with a little definition and meaning about what is a house and I will need some some help for this part. Any volunteer that would like to help me with that? So remember guys that every time that you are a volunteer, I can listen to your pronunciation and we both can fix. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline, thank you. Very good. <clears throat> Go ahead. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> uh, a, house, a house is a bullying Mm -hmm. Where you meet in life mm -hmm. alone, or it could be um, multi. Mm -hmm. A family house that you share with other families. All right, thank you so much. There are some words that you didn't pronounce them well, but we are going to learn that. So this is building. It says a house is a building where you might live alone or it could be a multi-family house that you share with other families, all right? So do you understand what it says there? Do you understand the idea of what a, uh, what a house is? Yes, do you know what building is? Yes, yes. Very good. Yes. So let's, let's go now to try to verify uh, in a short term, what's an apartment? Any other volunteer that would like to help me? So the, you know, I will need actually two volunteers. One that will read until we have the point and number two, it will read after the point. So it says, I have Mr. Carlos and Lisette. I see Shayla as well. Shayla, you will help me later on with another uh, meaning, okay? So Carlos, go ahead, and then we go with Lisette. Okay. Uh, what is what is an apartment? Mm -hmm. The their apartment can be generically applied to any residential residential un unit inside a building. All right, you look very comfy in that amaca very comfortable over there <laughs> very good okay thank you so much carlos um said, go ahead the building can be a house townhouse large okay. residential residential building and mm -hmm. even condominium high rise where owners sublet their mm -hmm. units 
Very good. So I will read it, guys, just for you to pay, pay attention to any pronunciation that you probably don't know. It says an apartment, the term apartment can be generic, generically applied to any residential unit inside a building. The building can be a house, townhouse, large residential building, and even condominium high rise where owners sublet their units. That's the basic meaning of an apartment and we already know what an apartment is. Most of these type of apartments, we have a very clear example of this is La Sacamil. We can see La Sacamil, all those type of apartments. And um, well, now we're gonna go each one of, we have a list right here of the vocabulary. Uh, the first two ones that we have, it is the living room. Do you know what the living room is? It's very good. Here we say that the living room is la sala, all right? Living room. What about the bathroom? Bathroom, dormitorios. Pay attention to that. So we have the first two, living room, bathroom. Let's go with the next ones. We have dining room and bathroom. One thing guys, very important that I want to clarify you is that I understand or I know, or let me ask you first, como decimos, puedo ir al baño por favor? Can someone tell me? Can I get go to bed for please? Okay, that's one. Okay, someone else? May I go to the bathroom? Okay, that's another one. Another example. Can I go to the bathroom? Can I go to the bathroom? Okay. May I go to the bathroom? Okay, thank you guys. Teacher. So you, yes. Tell me, sir. How do you say in Spanish dining room? Dining room? That's a uh, comedor, dining comedor. room, comedor, dining room. Dining so, room. so guys, what you said, que enseñaron en la escuela, vea, que si decimos, quiero ir al baño, nosotros decimos, can I go to the bathroom? But that is not correct. Eso no es correcto. ¿Por qué? Cuando decimos quiero ir al baño, nos estamos a refiriendo a esto en general. Ducha, right? That's the bathroom. O sea, que si usted dice quiero ir al baño, the, you, si tú dices bathroom, tú estás diciendo que tú vas a la ducha de una sola vez. But how do we say it in English, though? ¿Cómo lo decimos? So in English, we say it like this. Say, can I go to the restroom? Restroom. Hay lugares, hay restaurantes en los que se utiliza bathroom. Pero ¿por qué? Porque tienen de una sola vez, eh, tienen varias cosas incluidas o hay más de dos sanitarios. I don't know if you get me the idea. But when you say clearly que tú vas a hacer tus necesidades, right? You have to say, can I go to the restroom? Restroom, not bathroom. Because bathroom is yes. where you take a bath, right? Por eso se llama bathroom. Traducido literalmente sería como cuarto del baño. Que es un baño. That's una ducha, right? So we gotta be careful with that because those are some common mistakes, some errores comunes that we are going to learn, okay? So the next time, do not say, can I go to the bathroom? Las personas acá le van a entender y le van a decir, si sí, vaya, váyase para el baño. But that's not right. We say, can I go to the restroom, okay? Okay, perfect. So. We got here the dining room and the bathroom. Let's see what else we have. We have the hall, hall, and we have the garage. 
the hall, que es como la pared, right? And uh, the garage, that we all know what that means. We all, we all know that that's el garaje or la cochera. We say it in a very different ways in El Salvador, but that's the general idea. So, uh, hall and garage. We have here the attic, el ático, the, in some houses in El Salvador, we don't have that. But it's very important that you know the this part of the house or the vocabulary, but because probably you might travel around the world one day. We don't know what life is going to bring to us. So it's very important that you know those words. Attic, attico, kitchen, que eso todos lo sabemos, ¿verdad? la cocina, kitchen. All right. So let's move on. We have the stairs, stairs, toilet, toilet. Este toilet le llamamos directamente al inodoro, right? Toilet and garden. Stairs, toilet, garden. Let's move on. We have the patio, patio basement and corridor patio basement and corridor all right let me see here we have a kind of uh teacher uh, yes sir uh, how how is the difference in between yard and patio oh a yard a yard is a uh, yard is como la la parte trasera de una casa, mm -hmm. right? Yard. And the patio, el patio le llamamos a la parte frontal. Can you see this? Lo que vemos, veamos el ejemplo de esta casa. Aquí tenemos patio, le llamaríamos a esta parte frontal de la casa. Si tuviéramos grama, si tuviéramos un pedacito de tierra que tengamos frente de la casa, that's the patio. Pero si tenemos la parte de atrás, tenemos un espacio, that's yard, la parte trasera, or backyard. Is that clear? Gracias, thanks. All, all right, all right. So we have here a kind of a diagram or something like that that will help you to to get some ideas of, of the main parts of the house. First, we have the roof. What's the roof? Techo. Roof. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Roof. Chimney. Chimney. Chimenea. That in the houses of El Salvador, there, that, 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 that does exist in some houses, but not in all the houses in El Salvador, but it's very important that you know that. So chimney, chimney, windows, that you already know what that means, ventanas, right? Porch, le llamamos al espacio que queda entre la ventana y um, and, uh, and the patio, un pequeño espacio. Um, it's kind of, El patio en sí es lo que está de la construcción de la casa hacia afuera. Pero hay, hay casas, there are some houses, que tienen después de las ventanas, tiene como un mini espacito donde pueden descansar, sentarse. That place we call it porch. Okay? So it's very important that you know all those differences. So that's the porch, the door, the curtains, and the balcony. So, so far so good. Any questions so far? No, are we clear? Teacher, please repeat curtains, bal balcony. Mm -hmm. Curtains. Curtains. Curtains and balcony. Balcony. Balcony, yes. All right. 
So if there's no questions, we are going to be moving forward. Now we're going to go detail by detail, okay? To see each one of the parts of the house. Do you remember that at the beginning we saw the living room? Se yeah. recuerdan que al inicio vimos the living room? So now we are going to see things that we can find in the living room. Cosas que podemos encontrar en el living room. So we have a sofa, sofa, coffee table, armchair, bookshelf, bookshelf, I'm sorry. I will repeat it again, sofa, coffee table, bookshelf, and armchair. Those are the main things that we can find in the living room. Sometimes there will be some parts of, or some houses that they might have, what, chairs, right? But most of the time they have sofas or something like that. We have also these things like cabinet, some DVD player, some sort of TV, some telephone, some houses have it, some do not, and shelf. Those are another parts of the living room. So let's see where else do we have. We can have a cushion. We have, uh, we can have some carpet, cushion and carpet. And now with this part, we finish the living room. I will repeat it one more time. Sofa, coffee table, bookshelf, armchair, cabinet, DVD player, shelf, telephone and TV carpet and cushion. So now let's go to the bathroom. Let's see what we have there. Let me see, let me ask some people. Um, Mr, no, let me see. Hello, Miss Claudia Valencia, hello. Hi. I, hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. How do we say um, the part of the house? How do we say chimenea? Me lo podía traducir español, por favor. Yeah, I mean, how do we say, como decimos chimenea? Chimenea. Eh, ch ch ¿Cómo es? Chimenea. Algo así, algo así. All right, leave it like that. Let me see, Mr. Jose Manuel. How do we say that? Work. Cheat me. All right, yes. So, Mr. Jose, tell me how do we say... Um, let me see. Um... Escaleras. No. Why not? Stairs. Stairs. What did I say last, last time, guys? I told you. La última vez les dije, cuando tengamos una palabra que empiece con S, no digamos es al inicio, porque no es like that. Solo es el sonido de qué? De la consonante. La, exactly like that. So, next time, pay attention to that. All right. So, um, María Luz de Nieto, how do we say techo? Roof. Roof, yes. <laughs> Someone else said it before you. All right. So now that we got, that we finished the living room, let's go to the bedroom and let's try to find out what can we see there. In the bedroom, there's a lot of things, not actually that much, but sometimes we have this. Bed, night table. We can also have a ward, rob. We can have a computer, computer, I'm sorry. We can have a desk. And if there's 
a bedroom for kids, we might probably find some toys. But for adults, most of the time will be bed, probably night table, kind of a desk and wardrobe. So uh, pay attention to the pronunciation, guys, because I will ask you later on. I will ask you. Bed, night table, wardrobe, desk, toys, and computer. So let's see if we have something else. Yes. In the bathroom, we can also find some pillow, books, probably a CD player, a lamp, we can also find the chest of drawers and the video games. Some boys or even some girls, they have some boys, some video games in their bedrooms. So we can find all those things as well. Oh, let's see, pillow, books, CD player, lamp, chest of drawers and video games. So with these two parts, we finished the bedroom. Bed, night table, wardrobe, computer, desk, toys, pillow, books, CD player, lamp, chest of drawers, and video games. All right. So with that being said, let me see. Miriam, Eraso, how do we say uh, inodoro. Toilet. Who said that? Toilet. 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 All right. All right. Yes. Thank you. So, cuando menos sientan, le voy a preguntar. Vea. So, you better be pay attention to that. All right. So, dining room. So now that we finished the bathroom, we're going to go to the dining room. So in the dining room, we can have a table, we can have a base, we can have some painting or any kind of picture. We can have a fireplace, not in all houses in El Salvador, but some houses might have some fireplaces. We can have also chairs, and lamp. Este tipo de lámpara, o le llamamos en general lámpara, pero también se conoce como candelabro, candelero. I don't know what that is. Is that candelabro o candelero? Candelabro. candelabro. All right. So if we say, if we say candelabro, that, that's going to be a chandelier. Como la canción, vea, chandelier. So, Lámpara, acá le pusimos lámpara because that's the general idea, una lámpara. But that is specifically, model, like a model, un modelo como este, we say it chandelier. Yes, like the zone of CS zone. So once again, we have a table, vase, painting, picture, fireplace, chairs, and lamp. All right, let's try to find out if we got something Teacher. else. Yes. Base is jarrón, entonces. Yes. Yes. Sí, sí no es vaso. Mm -mm. All right. ¿Y florero, cuál sería? That's florero. the same. That's the same. The same thing. We call it base. The general idea of that it's. Um, um, the, that thing, florero, that's the pretty much the same thing, isn't it? So now that we that we finish or that we complete the dining room part because we don't have that much over there, we're gonna go to the bathroom or with the bathroom. So we have here the toilet, we have the shower, we have the mirror, we have the bidet, we have the wash basin, or we can say that this one, a sink as well, bath. Let's see, we can have something else. Yes, we have a rug, we have a bin, we have shampoo, we have toilet paper, we have soap, 
and we have shower gel. So let me see, we can also have in the bathroom, a hairbrush, a toothbrush, a toothpaste, and a comb. Those are the main things that we have in the bathroom. I will repeat it. Toilet, bidet, shower, mirror, wash basin, bath. We have the rug, we have the bin, shampoo, soap, toilet paper, shower gel. So let me see someone else. Ana Maria, hello. Hello. How do we say Ana Maria? And let me see. How do we say? Let me see, I forgot it. What I was going to ask you. How do we say? Chimenea. Algo así. Okay. And how do we say <laughs> parte trasera de la casa que se parece al patio? How do we say that? Backyard. Backyard. And how do we say the front part? The front uh, part of the house. Uh, creo que yard. We say the jar. No, no remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, it's okay. So let me see. Now, guys, that we finished with the bathroom, we're gonna go with the hall. In the hall, we can also have some kind of mirrors. We can have a clothes stand. We can have umbrella stand. And that's pretty much it because in these parts, we don't have those, those or too much things. All right, any question? No, I heard someone was saying teacher or something. No, estoy escuchando de más, vea. no. So any question guys, so far so good. Something that you would like me to repeat one more time or to tell you one more time, no? Are we clear on that? Are we clear guys? Algo o no? Si sí, pasamos Teacher, el examen, no lo pasamos? Yes, tell me. Eh, yo he visto algunos lugares que la sombría no va como en un bote, sino que va como colgada, como en un este, closet stand, como una cosita de eso, pero está pegada en la pared. Oh, uh, honestly, I have never seen that. Where did you see como... that? Es como algo grande, es una tabla y que esa tabla tiene como palitos y ahí van las sombrillas. Mm. Honestly, I have never seen it, but, but I will try to find out. O porque sí, no, nunca lo he visto. Si no me equivoco, teacher, es como un llavero que ponen cuando uno está entrando a la casa. Uno, uno pone una tablita con unos ganchitos para poner las la llaves del vehículo y todo eso. Algo similar son los de la, mm. de la sombrilla. No, honestly, I have never seen. But we can call it a son stand. Como... Mm -hmm. Yeah, say it. Es que son como estantes que, que los colocan en las paredes tipo percheros para poner sombrillas, llaves, partes de la ropa, abrigos oh. que se traen. Got it, yes. Got it. So it will be something similar to, not to this, right? To the wardroom, no? Similar no. a wardroom, no? No. No, I'm sorry, I have never seen that. But what I was going to tell you, lo que te iba a decir es que umbrella stand, le llamamos umbrella stand, En sí, al lugar donde se pone la sombrilla. Puede ser varía del país, puede ser, o hay países en los que se, se pone en eso como, como, como jarrón, 
pero hay países that you put it in that thing that you're saying, que las ponen en ese tipo de cosas que tú estás diciendo. But at the end, a lo que le llamamos umbrella stand, no es específicamente a la cosita en que se pone, o al tipo, o a la forma que tenga, sino que es, es en sí al lugar donde se traba la, la sombrilla. I don't know if you get me Detrás there. de la puerta se guarda la sombrilla. Ahí es el umbrella stand. It can be as well. Depende. Podría ser. Depende. Sería como, eh, como el nombre que se le va a dar al lugar. Exactamente. Eso es lo que quiero que me entienda. El nombre que se le da al lugar, no al objeto. O la forma que tenga el objeto donde se pone. Sino que al lugar. Umbrella stand. So, do you understand now? I made myself clear or not? Yeah, I clean. Okay. Did you get them? All right. So, but that was a very, very good observation, Ceci. That was very, very good because it's important that you know all those difference or um, for you to express yourself in English. So it's very important that you know all the differences. Very good. So now that we finished with the hall, We're going to go to the garage, all right? And uh, in this part, some, this, this might change. Esto podría cambiar, and this could go to another place. Because the washing machine in the States, in the Estados Unidos, sometimes they have it in the garage, but not always. That might change according to each one of the countries. Because Here in El Salvador, we have that in the, in the laundry, right? In la lavanderia o como en el patio. Some people have it like there, but that's in El Salvador. Or probably you have it in a very different area in your house. But normally in the States, the garage, they, in the garage, they have a washing machine, que es una lavadora, and obviously cars, bikes, skateboards, scooters, and yep. park, yes? Was, was someone saying something now? No, okay. All right. So that's pretty much it for the garage part. There's not the match. We can, you can have a motorcycle over there, you can have a car, you can have a bike, you can have a scooter, you can have a skateboard. It depends on what you have, right? But the most common things that- Motorcycle. Some, motorcycle, yes, some motorcycles. But normally people only have cars. At least in El Salvador, if you have a garage, you're going to use it for, for, to, for a car. En El Salvador le damos multiuso, de acá se saca el carro y los niños juegan, whatever. But in the States, every place has different type of activities. Okay, so now that we finish with the garage, we're going to go with the last part. This is the last part of the house. And we have the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have a lot of things. We have a lot of things. We have the fridge. Esta es la forma corta de llamarle al refrigerador. Fridge. 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 Or we can say refrigerator. Refrigerator. That, that's the same thing. But if you want to speak like faster, you can say fridge. But if you want to be like more, more más social, vea, más diplomático, más... Como in the high society, you can say, oh, look at their refrigerator instead of saying the fridge. All right. Refrigerator and fridge. We can have a toaster. We can also have a freezer. We can have a sink. We can call it, what's the difference eh, entre el que se tiene en el baño y el que se tiene en la cocina? Because if you see here, well, if you saw here, this one, we call it, the one that is in the bathroom, we call it wash basin, right here. The one that we have in the kitchen, we call it sink. 
That's the difference between they both. Carlos, go ahead. En, en el que está en el baño, únicamente para lavarse las manos. El que está en la cocina es como para lavar los trastos. But actually, the one that we have in the kitchen is for everything, like washing the vegetables, washing your hands, washing the, well, some plates or something. It depends. Everyone, you know, everyone does it with a different activities. But yeah, that's the main idea of what a sink is. Because the sink is ready for the activities that you're going to do in the kitchen. But very good. So we have, I will repeat it well, twice, fridge or refrigerator, toaster, freezer, sink. And we can also have all these things. Cooker. Eh, tenemos, tenemos también, o nos han enseñado, o nos enseñaron at school, que a la cocina le decíamos kitchen, a este aparato. Pero en realidad en inglés, kitchen es todo el lugar, con todas las cosas incluidas. A este aparato no le decimos kitchen, porque kitchen es todo. A este aparato le decimos cooker. Cooker. Yes? So, it's very important, guys, that you know the differences. Y que vayamos quitándonos todos esos mínimos errores que tenemos o que pensamos que eran correctos al momento de expresarnos en inglés. So remember, la próxima vez no le vaya a decir si se encuentra con un gringo, oh, this is my kitchen, y le está enseñando el, el aparato. No, this is my cooker. Cooker. Because kitchen is the whole place. So cooker, cup board, we have dishwasher, we have the oven, we have a microwave, cooker, cupboard, dishwasher, oven, microwave. Let me see. We can also have part. This is very important, guys. Esto lo utilizamos in daily basis. So we have a spoon, cuchara, fork. We have a knife. When we pronounce, cuando tenemos, cuando pronunciamos cuchillo, no pronunciamos la K. In English, we just say knife. 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 Porque hay algunas personas que tratan de hacerlo como knife, but that's not necessary. In English, knife. we just say knife. E, y a todo el conjunto de esto, cuchara, Y tenedor y cuchillos le llamamos cutlery. Cutlery. The, I don't even know how, how, what's the word for that in Spanish? Do you know? ¿Saben cómo se le llama todo este conjunto en Spanish? No. Oh, cubiertos. 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 Can we say it? Cubiertos, even though there's some cucharas there? Le sí. podemos decir cubiertos aunque hayan algunas cucharas ahí. Sí, así se dice. All right. Yes. yes. All right. Yes, I do. All right. So then it's going to be uh, cubiertos then. So that's the, the general idea, right? So we're going to call it cutlery, okay? Cutlery. So that's going to be for spoons, for fork, and some knife. Obviously, the, the different type of knife, los eh, cuchillos might be some, might be different, right? Porque the one uh, que utilizamos for the meat, it's completely different than the one that we use to cut the tomatoes, the vegetables, and all that. Pero al final es el mismo cuchillo. Different uses, but the same knife, okay? And uh, a glass. Un vaso, ¿verdad? Glass. And that's pretty much it. Eso es toda la parte de la cocina. So we have a lot. Fridge, freezer, sink, toaster, cooker, oven, cupboard, dishwasher, microwave, spoon, fork, cutlery, knife, dish and plate. 
Es, Display. Eh, es, it's very important also, guys, que sepamos eh, que de estas dos formas le podemos llamar a un plato. Plate, plate, también les podemos llamar cuando tú dices eh, qué tipo de plato están sirviendo. For example, if you go to a restaurant and you say, what's the dish? You can say, what's the dish? Or, or what's the plate? La cual va a ser la diferencia, que plate es utilizado como de una forma muy formal eh, por personas eh, con, con, como en una alta sociedad, right? So they say like plate, but the meaning is still the same. El significado es el mismo. Dish and plate, they both the same thing. So, but some people use it because it's more formal. And dish is not informal, but it's like un sinónimo, a synonym of that, okay? So it's very important that you know that. So, so far so good, guys. Any questions so far? Something clear, it's not clear, like water, like or chat or what? Am I clear? Are you clear? Is everything clear? Todo está claro. Yeah. So, so, teacher. <laughs> Why so, so? Es mucha información. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of information, a lot of vocabulary. Vamos a ver si es cierto que prestaron atención, vea. Ahora vamos a ver. So, we are going to go one by one. Let me pick someone randomly. Ana Yancy, hello. Ana Yancy. I cannot hear you, Ana Yancy. Ya cayó de Maya. A lot of information. All right, so Ana Yancy, I want you to tell me the pronunciation of the living room parts. Go ahead, let me listen to you. Sofa? No. No. Sofa. Sofa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Armchair. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, thank you so much, Anayansi. Let me see, Claudia Janet. I see that you wanted to participate. Go ahead. Yes. Cabinet, TV. Telephone. What's shelf. just okay? Just stop it there. What will be another way to call or another way to say the TV? Otra forma en que le podríamos decir al TV because that's the short way. Television. 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 Yeah, television. Okay, very good. DVD player. Mm -hmm. Shelf. Shelf. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria Luz de Nieto. Hello. Hello. So help me with this part. Uh, um, living room, mm -hmm. carpet, cushion. Mm. Do we say it in that way, guys? I don't know, teacher. Cushion, pretty Can close. All right, so thank you, Maria. Jonathan Cordova, go ahead, sir. Mr. Jonathan. Sorry, sorry. Big, nice. No, no, repeat it again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got lost. Go ahead, start all over again. Living room, big room, big. Mm. Nice. Eh? Okay. Else? Stop it there. Stop it there. Stop it there. Un ratito. Okay. Guys, para todos, how do we say or how do we pronounce cama? Bed. 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 Do not complicate yourself. No te compliques mucho, eh? Jonathan. 
Así como se escribe, así se pronuncia. Ok. Mm -hmm. Go. Go ahead with the other ones. Back. Mm -hmm. Like they were true. Uh -huh. Toys. Yes. Computer. Ok. Thank you, sir. Victoria Bermúdez. The same thing. Lo mismo. Let me see. Ok. Bed. Night table. Wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Computer. Desk. And toys. Very good. Wow. That, that was very good. All right. Let me see. Elias. Sir. This part, please. Pillow. Mm -hmm. Books. Mm -hmm. CD player. Uh -huh. Lamp. Mm -hmm. Video games. Video games. Video games. Video games. Y esta de aquí sí se me olvidó. Ah, Jesucristo, vea. Any volunteer? Oh, you know what? Jose Manuel. Show me, sir. Okay, go ahead. Tell me how do we pronounce this word? This one right here. Are you saying something, sir? No. No tenga miedo, vea, please. Veo que conecte y desconecte el microwave, el microphone. So, sin miedo. Si nos equivocamos, here we are to learn, okay? Don't worry about it. Oh my God, are you translating that? Or who is translating that? I, I just heard uh, like, uh, I heard uh, like Google or something. Yes. Pillow, se va a pronunciar así, pillow, como se escucha. Pillow, yes, pillow, like that. Um, solo quiero un poquito de, de stress, así le llamamos en inglés, stress, como no, no, no decirlo como en español de pillow, así como se oh. escucha, sino que como un mini acento de pillow, pillow, pillow. Pillow, como enrollar un poquito la lengua, right? So, un día de esto vamos a saber un trabalengua para que vayamos trabajando el desarrollo de esa lengüita, vea, porque estamos algo atoraditos ahí. All right. So, how, how do we say this? Música también. Music of drawers. Chess of draw. Repeat it again. Chest of drawers. Chest of drawers. Okay. Chest of drawers. Chest of drawers. All right. Sheila, so I remember that you wanted to participate the last time. So this is your time to shine. Su momento de brillar ha llegado. Go ahead. Dining room. Table. Fair place. Chairs. Lamp. Picture. Painting, bus. Okay. Repeat this one again. Esta de acá, repeat it again. Fireplace. Fireplace. ¿Cómo Fire. dije que era otra forma de llamarle a esto de acá? En lugar de decirle lámpara, what's the other way? Candelabro. Chandelier. Okay. Chandelier. Solo Chandelier. acuérdese de la canción, vea. Chandelier. And that's, that's it. So, um, let me see another one. Let me see. Brenda. Brenda Villeda. Sin miedo, vea. No tenga miedo. Go ahead. Oh, are you? No, your microphone is off. Ahora sí. Eh, bathroom, mm -hmm. toilet, eh, 
Bidet, creo que es. Bidet. Eh, wash basin. Bidet. 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 Uh, no, not, basin, not, ex not exactly like that, but bidet, como bidet. Bidet. Yeah, like bidet. that. Mm -hmm. Bidet. Wash basin. Uh, shower, mirror, and bath. Okay. All right. Thank you. Eh, estos bidet, uh, at least I have never seen that in, in El Salvador. Nunca los he visto en El Salvador, but I know that in England or some parts of the States, they have some bidets. All right. Sir Elvis, que ahora no lo hemos visto, ¿verdad? but I know that you're there. So help me with this part. Batman. Mm -hmm. Rog. 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 Mm -hmm. Rog. Ben. Ben. Okay. Shampoo. Okay, just stop it there. Guys, eh, no decimos bin. Esta I que está ahí es como una I mezclada con E. Ven. Ven. It's ben. not bin. Okay? No lo, no lo vayan a leer como bin, porque si no, nobody's going to understand what you're saying. So, ven, okay? Go ahead, okay. sir. I'm sorry. Okay, ven. Shampoo. Shampoo. So Shampoo, so, toilet paper, and shower gel. Shower gel, very good. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, Ceci, sit on. Okay, let me see. High brush, mm -hmm. and two brush, and two belts. Mm -hmm. Pass. Mm -hmm. And come. So we say hairbrush, toothbrush, and toothpaste. Okay, guys. Todavía hay mucho por acá. Incluso esta parte todavía no la vimos. The garden. Eh, we're going to see it. Uh, Vamos a ver así uh, rápido, okay? So, quiero que... I'm going to ask someone randomly. Mr. Roberto Villalobos, are you there? Hey, good night, teacher. Hello. Um, can you tell me what's the pronunciation or what is the difference in pronunciation entre el número tres y árbol? Can you say that to me? Eh, el número tres es three y el árbol es three. Mm. No. No, sir. It's not like that. But thank you so much for participating. Vamos a ver si alguien más. Um, let me see. Miriam. Solo la H que lleva el, el number three que se pronuncia como three. Y árbol que se pronuncia three. All right, no. yes, that's, that's pretty much the change. Eh, eso es el cambio. TH, como les he dicho, siempre que vean TH, we're going to pronounce them como Z de español. Three. So, el número three. tres, decimos three con Z. Three. three. Y, el, y el árbol, we say it tree. Tree. Three. Three. So, es muy importante que aprendamos a hacer esa diferencia porque a veces pensamos que estamos diciendo tres y la otra persona le está entendiendo árbol, no le está entendiendo tres. All right? So, it's very important that we work in that pronunciation. So, garden, we have the tree, we have the flowers, we have the plants, and the flower pot. Oh, I guess... Um, Creo que esto es lo que estaba, this is what you were asking, Carlos, I guess, como florero, right? Flower pot. <laughs> Flower, Flower pot. pot. Flower pot, yes. So, <inaudible> oh, is that a maceta? I really don't know, guys. Maceta, más, 
But sí, it's not, mamacete. A, a macete is not a thing that you hang, una cosa que, that you hang on the, on the roof. De las que cuelgan. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I think I know what that is, but, but can we say that this is a maceta, this one that we have on the picture? Well, we have a lot of girls right here. Tenemos muchas chicas acá. I know that you know about all those things. Can you give me a, an idea? Teacher, la maceta lleva quizás tierra, pues, y el florero solamente llevará las flores y, y alguna agüita. Digo yo, pues, pienso. All right. Ay, solo para colocarlas temporalmente. La maceta es como más fija. All right, all right. I got it. Okay. But... Quizás más, la, más el... El, el florero sería como un parte decorativo y la maceta ya sería como algo propio del jardín porque el florero incluso se puede poner en la sala y la maceta es más propio de, de oh, un espacio abierto All right, so I understand now the difference Very sí, good. El grupo mandó una captura de las macetas Let me see. Porque a mí esa me parece maceta Oh, so this is a maceta though All right Yes, yeah, that's pretty much it because uh, as I can see here, there's some, it's some, hay alguna tierra ahí, se ve que está, Teacher. that is already planted. Mm -hmm. Teacher, una consulta. Yes, sir. Y flower base, estoy viendo aquí que es como florero. Oh, yeah, Plans. that, yeah, that, that was it. Si se recuerdan acá, base, so right here. So base sí, in the dining okay. room. Here we have base. Pero de la, si le llamamos flower vase, también es eh, florero. Eh, pero cuando ya le agregamos la palabra flower at the beginning, se convierte en un compound noun, que también puede funcionar como un sinónimo de florero. Ok, that's very good. So the last one, esta que vimos acá, le vamos a decir maceta. Then. Ok, flower pot. And... Um, Because of the time, guys, porque el tiempo se nos pasó, vea. Eh, y porque vimos a lot of vocabulary, right? A lot of new words. Um, this is the, this is the, the homework. Let's say it like that, the homework. Eh, lo que voy a hacer en esta ocasión, dado que no tenemos tiempo, we don't have enough time. Take a picture of that. Take a screenshot. Necesito que trabajen en ello. Cuando lo tengan listo, send a picture through the WhatsApp group. Quiero que me envíen una foto de que ya lo terminaron en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. So this is going to be kind of homework. Va a ser una tipo tarea. No está difícil, guys. Solo es de poner los nombres. Y en this one, match the words. Solo poner, ok. Eh, unir las palabras. Ok. It's not difficult. Y como parte número dos, part number two, I need you to create, crear dos oraciones utilizando el vocabulario aprendido en la clase. Right? Y esta sí la vamos a compartir todos mañana. Por eso dice aquí, then share the sentences with your classmates. En la clase de mañana todos la van, a, van a compartir sus oraciones. Your y la palabra share, ¿qué quiere decir? Share, share compartir. compartir. Si ustedes ponen su, su teléfono en inglés, cuando when you go to Facebook y le quieren dar compartir, les va a decir share. So, those are the, the homework. Esa es la tarea que tenemos para mañana. Ok. Please. It's not that difficult. No está difícil. You can do it. And remember, recuérdense que estas dos oraciones las vamos a compartir en el, aquí, on the video conference. Okay? So, guys, this is pretty much all for today. Um, well, you have a lot to, to study, right? Tenemos que estudiar un poco el vocabulary. Um, porque cuando menos sientan, por ahí les voy a hacer preguntitas, ¿verdad? De todo el vocabulario que ya vimos. Why? Because I need you to practice. 
que practiquemos, porque afuera en todo el día, we do not practice. So this is our time to practice. So I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for attending to the class. Oh, you have a question? No. No question? No All right. question. So, so if there's no question, guys, thank you so much for attending to the class. See you tomorrow. Do not forget the homework. Try to work on the platform as well. Si no saben algún ejercicio, ask. Pregunten, vea. Ana Yancy, please. You do not forget to send me that screenshot, okay? Please. So thank you so much, guys. See you tomorrow at the same time and the same place. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night to Bye. you all. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.